we're in Goose Bay, Oregon. This train is stopped for the weekend. And it's Saturday. He's parked right on a switch track. And that track goes off different direction. There's a shot going forward. And that train actually goes down through there and it gets pretty sandy. This is a train bridge and there's a cross piece that swings sideways to open this channel up so the ships can go through and it closes so the trains can go over it. Right now it's open. back looking at the back looking along the train these last cars are log cars they put logs on them and bring them down here to the sawmill this is the bridge this is highway 101 and it crosses this bay and it goes way up high so the ships and boats can go under it look down along the train and then besides these log cars then we got some box cars then we get to the lumber you can see all the bark still on the train cars that come off while they're working the trip logs they're on all of these cars This is looking back towards the front of the train. We have lumber, we have box cars, then we have all these log cars. And as we go back towards the end of the train, and we've got the cars, and we can start seeing the tunnel or the bridge. There's a red light in the middle of the bridge telling the trains like, not to go through there. We have this old phone pole out here. They used to run the phone lines through. They used to run them along most of the train tracks. But things are getting more modern. And now they're buried and then we have different signs to warn us. So don't dig into them. Look at all that bark. Every one of these cars is covered like that. And there's the box cars. Going up towards the 
front of the train, which is still a ways. There's the lumber carts. They're lumbers. I looked at it. This looks like they're different legs. They're two by fours and two by sixes mostly. And there's another shot back at the bridge. That bridge cover crosses this whole bay. It's a pretty good sized bay. And again, the box cars and the lumber cars. And there's the lumber cars. Lumber cars. It goes up around that bend. There's one more back of the bridge. You got them log cars and then these box cars. And then these lumber cars. There's eight lumber carts, cars, and then two engines on the front. Here's another look at the engines. They're pretty much northbound. They eventually, I believe, end up in Eugene, Oregon. But it'd take them a little while to get from here to there. There's a picture of one of the fuel tanks on, on this train. Things humongous. It's a fuel gauge on this tank. It's got about a thousand gallons in it. And it looks like it goes up to 3,000. This is the other gauge. It looks like they got about 1,500 in it. It looks like it must go up to, oh, 3,000. Doesn't say anything after 2,600. But there's still marks. And there's the front of it again. It goes way down there.